Today we are creating a lighting setup for this scene where we have these classic ray band sunglasses. It's a fairly simple setup. We only have three main lights and one background light. So let's jump straight into it. Before we add the first light, here's a quick tip. I often use this flat viewport shading when searching for the camera angle and trying to come up with an interesting composition. This kinda helps to illuminate all distractions and concentrate solely on the shapes. Yeah, and uh, it's a simple life hack if you want and it often helps me to find something interesting in terms of composition. I actually don't know if I've managed to do it here, but I hope you like what we got. It's kinda, you know, type of unconventional dynamic positioning, or at least I tried to get something unconventional. Yeah, uh, okay, so uh, the first light we will be adding is uh, positioned slightly to the left and above the object and uh, its main purpose to illuminate the front side of the frames and uh, both glass parts. Initially I want uh, the light to cover the entire glasses with no visible hard edges on our reflections. And uh, once we achieve the right position and the size, I then use uh, the vertical tilt slider to create this type of vertical gradient and uh, bias the gradient towards the top. Okay, as you can see, this creates this beautiful gradient effect on the glasses, helping to highlight their 3D shape. The next light is positioned to illuminate the frame from behind, helping to highlight and shape the contours of our glasses. To see its effect more clearly, let's isolate the light. As you can see in the target shot, this light appears a bit narrower on the frames. We can try to replicate that by decreasing the light size and maybe slightly adjusting its position using orbiting mode to get the highlight mostly on the rib or the bevel of the frames, I should say. Just like that. Yeah. Now we're getting to our third light that plays an interesting role here. It's the light that provides the textured reflections on the glasses, which by the way I achieved using solely the Light Wrangler's built-in HDRI textures, as we have a few abstract options in the built-in collection. By the way, I am planning to expand this collection, but even now I believe we have enough options if we bring a spark of creativity to our process. So let's add our light and uh, immediately switching to orbiting mode because we need to we need the light to be positioned behind the object. Okay now we see this plain uniform reflection on our glasses. Okay let's select the texture and this is the one that I mentioned. Okay Let's decrease the brightness and uh, isolate this light to see how it looks. Okay, we need to decrease the brightness even more and uh, make the light much smaller to adjust the scale of the pattern. Okay, now we can adjust the position of our texture on the glasses. It's kind of endless process with infinite possibilities, but we just need to select something that looks fine. Okay, I'm not happy with the narrow spread on this light because it kinda reduce uh, the gradations 
on the HDRI texture. Let's fine tune the position to match the feeling kind of feeling we have in our target shot because we won't be able to exactly replicate the texture position but that's not necessary here. Okay, the next step is to select the color for this texture. I thought it would be great to complement the color of the frames, which I believe made of a horn or something like that. I can't actually recall the exact term in English. I think it's a horn, yeah, horn frames or something like that. So let's just adjust the color temperature to achieve this very, very warm light. I found that setting it to approximately 1500 Kelvin works quite well here. Let's dim the light significantly. Okay, now let's bring back the rest of our lights to view the entire lighting setup. As you can see, we have a combination of the gradient frontal light and the textured backlighting and it quite similar to what we have on, on the target shot. Now let's add our final light which will serve as a background. In this shot instead of illuminating any planes in the background I just used the light itself as a background plane. Adjusted the scale to roughly match it the overall frame size. Okay, now let's switch to HDRI light customization mode and select the texture that I found quite complements this kind of zigzag positioning of our glasses. This texture, as you can see, has roughly similar shapes and uh, I think it works very good here. Okay, let's reduce the brightness and uh, for selecting the color, we will not use the black body temperature here because uh, we need uh, an, uh, an unusual color. So here I use trick I often use, we just eye drop in the main color here and uh, shifting the hue to create slightly different but still harmoniously complementing color, uh, creating some kind of a monochromatic color scheme. I believe monochromatic is the correct term when you have a spectrum of hues uh, within a close range. So now we have a greenish goldish aura that complements the frames and uh, creates a balanced aesthetic. Not really overpowering the object or going too crazy because we're dealing here with classic sunglasses. We perhaps already went too far with the red texture reflections on the glasses, but I think it quite interesting here and I think it works. Okay, what I dislike about this setup is that uh, with the bottom light the effect on the frames is more, more narrow than on the target shot and uh, the highlight appears more, more narrow. So uh, to change that let's increase the light spread for this light. And uh, yeah, I think now it works good. Okay, I think we are done here. I hope you like the tutorial. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this shot and uh, if the tutorial was helpful. So thank you for your attention and see you in the next one.